a clapper. You get things handled and you're on a live mic, okay, sir? Cool. My man, we're here. We're here, we're back. Uh, initial thoughts, feelings, just from being back. Yeah, memories just kind of rushing back, especially kind of cool being uh, where the ultras were, looking back over this field, thinking about so many crazy games, uh, blood, sweat, and tears literally out there, uh, left out there, and yeah, a lot of good memories from it. Yeah, it's interesting. I think being, um, being back in the stadium and kind of walking around a little bit, uh, it kind of reminds you how intimate and how close it felt, you know, to, to play games here, and I think you know, the league obviously has a, a ton of different um, atmospheres and experiences now you can have on match day. But, um, you know, this was something special. You know, when I look back and think about, you know, the engagement with the fans and the noise and, and the passion that they brought, um, you know, for you especially, I mean, scoring goals and, and kind of feeling that, that must be, you know, something pretty cool. Nice move, Wando. Wando! Goal! Chris Wondolowski able to come in and chip it over the top of Joe Cannon, and he is equalized at one apiece. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was one of those things where all of the stories, and we keep joking around and uh, talking about some of these stories that give us laughs, but that's what made it special. That's what made all those moments even more special and uh, why they are such resounding memories with me. And, uh, you know, Getting to have be from the area, have friends and family, and you know having this close intimate there, you can see them in the crowd, you see familiar faces. Yeah, you can I mean, literally we, pick out their faces. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, even though like we have a great fan fan base and uh, so loyal, and they you you always see them. I'm sure you still talk to many of them. Yeah, or, for sure. Know, and uh, stay in touch, and it's uh, it's pretty cool to have those relationships and uh, kind of see them all blossom from there. And it's the team getting together on the field and they're they're over there to salute the ultras and the fans and everyone who puts out the box. Well the fans are just so important to those players, you know, and they feel the love. It goes back and forth and you see the players now chanting for the fans and that's what this game is all about. I mean it's just it's, it's unbelievable the passion uh, that, that both the players and the fans have for each other. Yeah, you know, I was thinking kind of just of our, our time here and I felt Something that was very much and probably, you know, I would imagine still is part of the, the San Jose, um, the identity of the club is kind of just this, this almost partnership you feel with the fans and the community, you know, it felt like, you know, I know for us particularly, you know, kind of how we started our careers is supplemental draft picks and not really highly touted, kind of felt very much, um, you know, had to be underdogs, you know, in, 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 many, in many respects. I think, you know, our fans, uh, embody that in some ways, understanding kind of, you know, where we were and, and kind of the big markets of the New York and the LA and, and kind of all of that, we understood who we wanted to be and, and to represent them in that way. Um, and so I just, I always felt a special kind of um, feeling and, and kind of relationship with the fans here. Um, you know, is that something I, I guess you'd say you, you've seen and maybe oh. something you kind of still are experiencing? Absolutely, I think so. I think that the team kind of embodied just that blue collar and especially, you know, always go back to 2012. I think that you had so many guys, one competitive guys, but guys who had a little chip on their shoulder, you know, we had so many guys that played on other teams that were cut, released, traded because not good enough, you know, and then we all kind of came here and, uh, you yeah, know, I think it kind of embodied the, the fans, the blue collar, the work ethic that, you know, it wasn't always the prettiest, but uh, we were entertaining and uh, we, we sure gave it our all. and. Uh, yeah, it usually worked out. Yeah, so speaking of that, I mean, now I want to start getting into the nitty-gritty here, you know, and talking about.